Hi guys, it's Chris from Blacktown Bricks and Pieces and I absolutely love selling used Lego. It's a fantastic way to earn extra cash in my spare time and anyone can do this. You don't need any special tools or equipment, just need the right strategies, a bit of time, a bit of space and a lot of Lego. As always, if you find this information useful, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see my other videos. Please stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you a massive tip that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of wasted energy just following this simple strategy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I clean bulk lots of Lego. Now, only clean Lego in bulk. That's the best way to do anything with Lego. It's going to take a little time, so you must do a whole bunch of stuff all at once. Now, I've seen a lot of videos about people using washing machines, uh, dryers, dehumidifiers, even fans to dry, dry and wash their Lego. Don't even think about any of this stuff. Uh, you're going to waste a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of water using these equipment, especially the washing machine. Uh, when I first started, I washed my first load in, wa in a washing machine. I tucked it in a bag, put the bag in the washing machine, about half halfway through the washing machine cycle, the bag burst and Lego went everywhere. It's a real pain in the ass. I had to hand pick every single piece of Lego out of the washing machine. It took me about an hour. Really wasted time. Not only that, I could have damaged the washing machine and I could have damaged the Lego. You think about the Legos going in the washing machine, all the pieces are getting smashed together. You could damage your, your minifigures, any base plates, any unusual or valuable pieces in there could be damaged in the process. Please don't use a washing machine. I know it might sound like it's quicker, but it's not. It's going to cost you. If you make a, make a mistake in this process, damage your washing machine, damage your Lego, it's just not worth it. So please don't use a washing machine. Today I'm going to be focusing on three lots. I haven't had time to clean these, but today is a beautiful day, so I'm going to go out there and make the most of the weather. The first lot is a massive 47 kilo lot. Now this is absolutely awesome. I've had a quick look at this and there's probably maybe 100, 150 minifigures in here. There's so many, it's ridiculous. Now all these pieces have been color sorted already. So just looking at it, I can tell there's not many fakes in here. So it's going to be a really, really good lot, lot for me. The other two lots are a smaller friends lot and a smaller city lot. Now the friends lot's going to be good too because there's manuals in here. So I can use the manuals to reconstruct a lot of sets with the parts in here and also parts I've got from previous lots. The city stuff, I've seen a lot of minifigures in here too. So again, it's going to be a really good deal. I'm really, really excited about getting stuck into this today and seeing exactly what's in this lot. Now the only way to do this is get started in, in there and start cleaning. Now this is a closer look of the lots I'll be tackling today. It's a big job, but I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into it. Now the first lot here, this is a 47 kilo lot. Now I've already noticed a few problems with this. A lot of the medium stone grey, the blue and the white have been discoloured by sun. So I won't be able to sell these particular pieces on my Brickhouse store. I'll be cleaning them anyway and then packaging them up and giving them away to charity. So they won't go to waste. I just can't sell them on Brickhouse store. Now the other problem I've noticed is there's two tubs full of looks like sets. They've all been bagged up and the manuals are inside the bags. So I won't be touching these today because it's going to be a big job to go through and check every single set to make sure they're complete and then I'll be cleaning all these individually and selling these as sets. Now it's going to be a really awesome score today. I've actually noticed there's more many figures than I first thought in here. So again, it's going to be a really, really good score for me. Now these second two lots are just the, the friends lot and the city lot. Again, these are quite small lots, but I'll be mixing them all together so I can clean a whole lot all at once. Now, as you can see, the pieces now have all been mixed together, except the friend stuff. I'll be keeping that separate throughout the whole process. And I won't be touching the, um, the other two tubs with sets. I'm gonna be setting that aside for now. But these are all ready to be washed and soaked, ready to be dried for later on. Okay, so it's taken me about half an hour to get this all prepped for cleaning. I've mixed up a lot of the city stuff now, but I'm still keeping the friend stuff separate so I can keep this separate throughout the whole process and just add it with the rest of my friend stuff so it's ready to be reconstructed later. As you can see, they're all just chucked in tubs. Now when you do this, make sure you have tubs that have lids because if you clean it and you're not going to use it straight away and leave it in storage, the stuff's going to get dusty and dirty. So make sure you have tubs with tight fitting lids to keep it clean and fresh so it's ready to be sorted later. Now, the cleaning process is pretty straightforward. 
All I use is household utensils. I have a bowl, a colander, two bottles of disinfectant, and some vinegar. That's all I need, and a few tubs. Chuck the Lego in the tubs, put some water in, put disinfectant, and vinegar. That's that straightforward. Now, I use vinegar to neutralize any of the smells. You're always going to have uh, dusty smells, maybe cigarette smells or pet smells in the Lego, so I want to make sure it's thoroughly cleaned and thoroughly disinfected before I sell it to my buyers. Now I usually soak it for at least four hours to ensure it's thoroughly cleaned and make sure none of the smells remain in the Lego. As you can see after four hours, this is what the Lego water looks like. It's disgusting. This Lego came in looking clean, but it's obviously had a lot of dirt, dust and stuff in there as well. So I'm really glad I cleaned it and thoroughly soaked it to ensure that it's clean and ready for my store. The drying process is very simple. I just chuck the Lego out on blankets and let it dry thoroughly for at least two days. Now while it's drying, I'll be continuing to pull the pieces apart and ensuring that all the pieces have actually been cleaned properly and dried thoroughly. Now I've also pulled out a lot more minifigures, uh, a lot of the leaves, the flowers, the animals and also the motorbikes. I'm going to be keeping them separate and also um, been pulling out most of the wheels too, just so I don't have to sort through these later. The wheels never sell, so I always pull these out and set them aside. I've got tubs of the stuff. They just won't sell. So this is the drying process, really straightforward. Now the reason why I only put one tub of Lego in each blanket, it's a really, really fantastic and easy way to clean up afterwards. You just fold the blanket up over the Lego, pour it into the tub, done. Well, it's been an awesome two days. I got a heap done. I cleaned most of the Lego I wanted to clean, except for the two tubs with sets in, I'm put, I have put this aside and I'll be tackling this another day. That's going to be another massive job. Now I've got four tubs here ready to be sorted and most of this is pure Lego. I've pulled out a few fakes, but generally speaking there's not many fakes in this lot at all. Maybe about 5%, which is really good considering some lots have about 20-30% to 30 of fakes in. I've also kept the wheel set aside and I'm going to be just adding this to my bag or tub with all the other Lego, Lego wheels I've got. Now there's a lot of minifigures in here. Quite a few are mismatched, but there's a lot that are complete. I'll be adding these to my minifigure tub and sorting through these later. That's going to take a lot of time. But there's at least a couple of hundred bucks worth of Lego in here. I just have to find the time to sort it out. With Lego, everything takes longer than you think. So you start a project, it could take weeks or it could take days. You never know what, how long it's going to take. Well, I hope you found this useful. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see all my other Lego videos about how to sell, process, and buy bulk lots. And I'll see you next time.